What are your memories of your matches with Ron Garvin? I wished many times I'd have just found a building to jump off of. <laughs> he liked to kill me. It was, oh, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. It's, it, it stands out. I mean, there's, there's a few, few guys that stand out. I mean, there's Buzz Sawyer. You know, I've been in fights with him that, that were just brutal. Ronnie Garvin is another one. Uh, besides being just a great wrestler, Ronnie Garvin could stretch you with just his legs and just stand up over you, and he'd have you hooked with just his legs. His arms would be free. Yeah. Slap you in the face, you know, chop you till your chest bled. Uh, but he didn't mind standing there taking it either. So right. he's a guy I really respected and uh, carried himself as a gentleman outside the ring. How about Dusty Rhodes? Again, most charismatic guy I've ever been in the ring with. He could talk him into the arena, and when he got him there, Dusty could perform. And for a guy his size, you know, to have that much charisma, you never, you know, there was always, and I was never one of the guys because, let's face it, like I said, I didn't have one of those great bodies either. There was always the downside of Dusty's body and, and the fact that he wasn't in shape. When the bell rang, you, didn't, you never saw Dusty Rhodes' body. You saw this charisma that loomed around him, and he hooked the crowd, and he held them in, bell to bell. So he was saying after who was that uh, Dusty liked to book himself to Tolly because Tolly made him look so good. So. That's absolutely right. All right. Yeah. yeah. What about um, Nikita Koloff? Again, uh, Nikita and I butted heads a little bit at first. Uh, Nikita was, was smart. Let me just preface it by saying he was smart enough to know what he wanted from the business. He came in. He lived thrifty. He saved his money. Uh, he never missed towns. He worked hard, stayed in the gym. Guy had an incredible body. Uh, he had an incredible look. Uh, his intensity was up. And he got what he wanted out of the business, and he got out. And I respect that. He walked away instead of hobbling away, like a lot of us have. Uh, he and I butted heads on some occasions because he didn't treat some of the underneath guys properly, and I had a problem with that. I think he's had a change in, in heart right. lately, but in that particular time, there was a couple of verbal instances where, where he would come on the plane late, the private plane, and uh, there'd be someone sitting there, and he'd order an underneath guy to their seat or something, and that didn't gel with